Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. Oh. It's a cold, foggy, miserable looking day outside. Ah, well, not to worry. We're still off to my dad's. It's Wednesday afternoon and it's another drive, uh, road to video. A drive, to, a road to video, yes. Um, you probably can, you can probably tell that um, there's not much detail in the back. So you can see how foggy or misty it is rather. It's uh, not exactly what you'd call a pea super but it's, it's not a nice sunny clear day. Um, it was quite bright this morning when I came out with Labby. Um, but it seems to have dis the fog has seemed to have descended. Well, it hasn't seemed to have descended. The fog has descended, and um, at the moment it's um, restricting quite a bit of visibility. Um, make sure this white van stops because there are more cars in him. Behind. There's more cars behind me than there is behind him. Um, right, so. Dear Lord, I'm not out of breath. I'm not struggling. I'm not uh, not been active or any, or not been overly active for getting out of breath. Mid chest because the weather's changed like this, and it's got uh, a bit foggy and it's damp. It's affecting my chest, uh, so my breathing always goes a bit bleh, when the weather turns like this. Um, It's not pleasant, um, but one of those things I have to put up with. I've had my medication this morning, so I just have to keep topping it up with the old um, reliever spray. And I'll do that when it starts getting a bit too much um, of a struggle. Um, right, so I wanted to let you know what's going on with me at the moment. Um, <laughs> I am still waiting for the birth of my grandchild. I am not sleeping terribly well because, you know, it's on my mind. And, um, what you call it, um, I just haven't got any... Uh, get up and go, shall we say. Um, I was planning on doing quite a lot, a lot last week, but because of lack of energy, lack of concentration, I didn't manage to do it. Um, I did try to keep myself occupied. Um, I made myself a little hut, a little stone hut terrain. Um, I'll Put videos on my Facebook, uh, not videos. I put pictures on my Facebook page. I've not filmed it because I really couldn't be bothered. I just wanted something to keep my mind on, off occupied, as it were. Um, so I built this little hut. I've been watching quite a lot of uh, YouTube videos, Black Magic Craft and Wylock. Um, I've been watching both the videos um, and really enjoying myself at the moment because I got the idea of the hut from watching Black Magic Craft and I got the idea and I've started today making up some dungeon tiles um, after watching the um, Wylock stuff so see how they go I'm not going to do any videos on how to do it. if you want to see them go directly to the source um, Wylock's Armoury I think it's called um, and watch his uh, watch his videos on how to do them. I'm not taking anything away from him. There is there is baby so I didn't run with it. Um, I'm going to do some videos showing you what they're like when they're finished. Um, I may do some little um, voggy bits showing you what I'm doing and this that and the other but I'm not going to do a big series on how to make them because as I said it's already been done and it's been done by the guy who decided this is how he wants to do it and it's how I, you know, it's the set I like. 
I can't get my hands really um, on some reasonably priced uh, XPS phone, so this is the next best thing. Uh, so that's how that's the reason I've done that. So I am currently making some uh, dungeon tiles. Um, as I said, because I'm not not been sleeping terribly well, I'm thinking I had about six hours last week. Not last night, but last week. Actually, for the last couple of nights, I've um, doubled up on my painkillers. So they've helped me have a few hours sleep. Uh, I still didn't get to sleep very early last night. Um, I'm still tossing and turning at 12 o'clock, so I thought, well, I'm in bed about 11 o'clock ish. But I was still tossing and turning wide awake at 12 o'clock, so I thought, sod this for Game of Soldiers. Then I got up and made a, made a start on cutting out some tiles. And then uh, I eventually got to sleep about 3, 4 o'clock this morning. Um, after going to bed. I got a bit tired of cutting tiles, you see, so I did about an hour of that and went to bed and I'm still awake. Um, I was catnapping, really. Um, I wasn't say I wasn't say awake, I was just like catnapping. Just drifting off and then waking up and drifting off and waking up. And I think I actually managed to get, last time I checked my clock, it was, I think it was, oh no, what time would it be? About four o'clock-ish. I can't say for definite because I can't remember now. But, um, yeah, the, uh, about four o'clock this morning when I managed to get to sleep and I woke up about ten-ish this morning, so... I say I woke up, I'm, I've been drowsing since about 8 o'clock, you know, again catnapping, um, but it's annoying the fact that it's the, one of the better night sleeps I've had, uh, the night before was a, I went to sleep pretty early, I think I went to bed about 11 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock ish, and um, I think I was out, 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 out like the lights before. 12 and I didn't I knew nothing else until my alarm went off yesterday morning at half past seven because I wanted to go to the art club so I set my alarm for half past seven swished it off I thought I'll have another five minutes and opened my eyes again it was nine five to nine so I thought best get up best get ready <laughs> <coughs> um if I made it to the art club it starts at ten o'clock so I made it to the art club um yeah, so that's the reason I've been a bit quiet over the past, well, all last, all, all last week. Um, I just can't focus both both with my eyes and mentally on painting minis at the moment. Um, I'm just waiting patiently for me uh, for my daughter to uh, phone me and tell me she's going in hospital for the final push, as it were. Um, so that's where we are. Um, while we're on, while I'm on here, before I forget, I want to say a big hello um, to uh, Richard uh, from the Nerd Life, or Tattoo for You, as he used to be known. Um, he uh, been in hospital um, Monday for a procedure. Apparently, it's all gone well. He's home now, so. Uh, I hope it continues to go well and there's no complications and good luck to your brother. Um, I don't know whether you're watching. Oh, God almighty, that's a pot I didn't see. Um, yeah, I don't know whether he watches these videos, but if he does, he's got the message. If not, then the sentiment's gone out there into the ether. Um, <coughs> By the gods, it is foggy here. Yeah. See a thing. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm alone today because Anna's at home. Uh, she's getting some uh, stuff done at home, so not not at mine, at her flat. Um, we are trying out. I don't like this road anymore. Uh, we're trying our best to get moved into a more suitable property. Uh, council at Wigan is, well, next to useless. 
but one of those things. Um, we actually tried to apply for houses in different areas. <laughs> yeah. um, 15 minutes we had in one particular, well, in both areas, but one I was trying to do, and it was I was struggling to try and get a password accepted, or to actually create a password for it to be accepted. I think I was at it about five minutes. It's bloody hard work trying to get somewhere. Bloody hard work trying to see here. Never mind, get somewhere. Um, so we're going to keep trying to see how we get on. Fingers crossed. We'll get somewhere soon. Um, I did really want to just constantly, uh, well, live around the Wigan area. Um, just for the sake of being handy for my daughter and my grandchild when, uh, when they turn up. Um, but if I need to move further, further afield, into the next towns, that kind of thing, then I'm going to have to do that because, you know, obviously not happy where I am. It's not conducive to a good mental uh, mental stability and emotional um, stability. It's a horrible place where I live. I have been told, however, that they are going to start regenerating the area, so depending on when they start that, they may decide to, well when I say the area, I mean the flats where I live, um, by all accounts. So when they do that, I don't know whether I'm going to be moved out um, to live somewhere else while they do the job and give them the option to, to or give them the option to move early, or whether it's just a case of they're just working on the outside of the building and it won't affect us. But I can't be asked. I just want somewhere to live where I feel happy and comfortable. Is that too much to ask? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, as and when our grandchild is born, I will be uh, letting you know. I'm not going to give any details because I know my, my daughter's other half, baby's father, doesn't want anything much with on social media. I'm just going to let you know that um, the baby's born. Um, so you're not going to get any de more details than that. I'm just waiting impatiently for it to pop up, to pop out and say hello to us. I just want to hold that child in my arms. And when I can do that, you know, I'll be able, I feel as though I'll be able to settle down and sleep. Because I'm on edge all the time, waiting for my dogs to phone. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear Lord. But, Never mind, never mind. Baby will turn up when baby turns up. <laughs> uh, oh dear Lord. The, um, what's going to say? I hope you enjoyed the videos I put up last week, the, the games nights. Um, I know one. Was there only one we did before? Well, we, one we did fairly recently anyway, um, when Malcolm Hollingbrake and um, Scraggle was with us, uh, which was the, um, oh dear God, the Ghost Hunter games. One we've revisited that we've not played for a long time, which was Dixie, so then we've played two new games to the uh, Game Snake series. Um, Loch Ness, which is one I was given uh, by Steen and Anita, who are running the D&D uh, &D sessions. And uh, so the last one we played, it was a just a little card and dice game, which I thought, oh, I'll give it a go, it can't be too difficult, so I might be able to learn the rules. <laughs> um, the uh, current number of the beast, that one was called. Um, yeah, as I said in the, um, in the video itself, I bought it about would it be five six years ago if not more 
and I played it about three or four times at the studio, not the studio, at the games club, right, it's the studio, I played it about two or three times, sorry, three or four times at the games club, and then I just put it away and I've played it since, I don't think, I don't remember playing it for a long time, and I certainly don't remember playing it on the games night video, I'll have a look back, I've got myself thinking now as to whether or not I did play it, I know there's been a few things we played quite regularly at the Games Club that we brought into the Games Night videos and then we stopped playing those kind of games. I mean, even Steen and Anita, who, you know, got me to things like Zombie Side and things like that, they don't seem to play those kind of games anymore. They're more into the Euro games. Very thinking, it's not my... I'm not saying they're not bad games, I'm just saying they're not really my cup of tea. I struggle with those and I don't tend to enjoy them as much as I should do. I played one last uh, Tuesday night um, called Yokohama. I enjoyed that one. No, um, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I got nowhere with it and I didn't get too much of the game, but I actually, that was one I, I did actually enjoy. Um, but I know we've played things like Rising Sun, which I, I don't Minis are awesome in that game, but I don't want to stop in the game. Um, but it's a personal preference, you see. Um, I know with my mental state, some games I just struggle to try and get my head around. And then it's, it gets to be very hard work. And I don't like games that are hard work. I don't feel as though I get the most out of games when, it's, you know, when I'm really struggling to work work it out and really struggling to play. I like games that we just get on with and have fun with. Because that I think is what a game is supposed to be. You know, if I wanted to think I'd go back to college. No. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we're nearly nearly at my dad's now. Um is he gonna let me go? He is, yes, yes, what a nice person. Um, so, as I said, we're nearly at my dad's now, so I'm going to be uh, hanging up uh, the video. Um, when I get home, when I put the um, description to the box, I'm going to link um, descriptions to Black Magic Craft and Wylock Armory. So, if, if you've not heard of them or seen them before, I you have seen them, but you, you know, I can't remember what uh, groups they are. Um, you can go and have a look and pay them a visit and see what kind of things they do. They are both absolutely fantastic crafters um, in their own right. Um, Black Magic Craft. I think his name's Jeremy, is it? Something like that. Oh God, he's a wizard with uh, XPS and a. Uh, what you call it, um, hot wire cutter. <laughs> um, but, as I said, because I can't get that kind of thing readily where I live, um, so we've got a B and Q, we've got a Wix and things like that, and they don't, I, was, I don't know whether they're supposed to stock it, but I was, don't seem to, and what they do stock is quite expensive for somebody who's trying to work on a budget but um, yeah uh, I will put the links to the whoops excuse me I'll put the links to the um, channels um, down below in the description bar when I get back tonight and you can uh, follow those and have a look but um, that's it from me for this afternoon I hope you've enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the little chat hopefully I'll be back to making um, painting and painting content and stuff like that very very soon um, I just need to get my head in the right space now because it's too baby orientated at the moment um, it's too tired at the moment let's put it that way you're probably able to see in my face that I'm not really as awake as I should be but there we are never mind um, but that's it for me for this video once again I hope you've enjoyed it until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now <laughs>